Okay, I am out in the garage. This is the passenger side one. You can tell the passenger side seat because it has, well, on the early ones anyway, it had this post here. The seat would actually like lean up into the dash and then come back. Um, so I got the screws off of this shield here so you don't, I don't know, trap Johnny's foot in there. I'm not too sure. Um, but this guy is unbolted. He'll come off, stay in the garage. No sense dragging that in the house. And this is the front piece with the the hinged part here. So that rotates on there. It's got the spring. That's going to sit up front. And then we'll take the rest um, into the house, I guess. And we'll get started. Um... This one doesn't look too bad. What I might do is do a, a quick little walk around on it. Once I get it in the house and in the light and, you know, if somebody needs this cover, I'll do my best to take it off in one piece for you. And, uh, yeah, and if you're, if you got a set that just needs one, I can probably hook you up. Anyway, I'll go in the house. Okay, let's give this thing a quick little once over before I tear into it. Uh, looks pretty good here. <clears throat> uh, the bottom part, the vinyl is blown out here. And I think that's about it. It's actually pretty good up along the sides. Across the back, doesn't look like the kids blew it out. The fabric looks okay. It's filthy though. But I think it would clean up. I don't. I don't know, but I think it would. So yeah, if you need one and I still got this, if I still have it, I'll put it in the description if it's available. So if you have this pattern and you're short some fabric or you're short one seat cover, I'll try and pull this off and save it for you. I'm gonna get started okay, here. So, so you guys know the game. Um, here. Yeah, I've already done one. But you know, you know the game. I struggled. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try a take two on the other seat and see if this one can be better than that one. Uh, I got a few tools here. I got regular pliers, got some dikes, some side cutters. And I got some needle nose and depending on depending on the uh, hog ring itself will depend on which which one I use so I'm just gonna rip these guys off <laughs> So now that I've got all of these hog rings off, and in case you're wondering why so many across here, so you'll have the piece from the, the lower seat base that goes on. And then from the upper, you'll have two. So this is the part that goes against your back. And then this is the back of the seat. So that's why they got so many hog rings across the top. At any rate, let's, uh, let's knock this over. Oh, we got a missed one up here. There we go. I missed another one there. Yeah. There we go. Um, we'll knock this over. We'll flip this seat over and we'll take a look. So on the other seat, we learned that in here they have these, I think they're called listing wires. And they'll be hog ringed to the spring base itself. 
So if we open her up like this, we can see them in here. I'll just turn that for you. And there'll be three of them there. Let's grab my dikes. Give that a snip that guy. So what about this back you say? Well, there's one of those wires right here. So let's unroll this thing like we're unrolling a uh, candy bar wrapper. Get her up to about here. And we'll see in here we have Again, three hog rings. One, two, and three. Okay, if you're wondering what that is for, that is to aid in getting You know what, let's, uh, let's make sure we got this thing off in one piece. This is to aid in getting the damn thing on. I'll just rip it off, that was real smart. Um, I just use a piece of plastic over there. Looks like uh, looks like we managed to get her off in one piece. Try and give you a peek there. So yeah, if you're a guy in need of this, in case you missed it on the first time around, our front piece needs to be done first, and our back piece will wrap over top of that down here. You see that? So this needs the, the bun, they call it, needs to be done first, and then the back. And the main reason is because that's gonna go over there like that. Now, when I did the first one, I learned a couple things. Um, actually, we'll talk about a couple things. So I did buns before. I've done, uh, I've done a, a pull street on three different vehicles. Um, on a 1970 Camaro, on a 1970 Mustang and then on a like a 2013 Challenger. By the way, that Challenger was the easiest of them all. <laughs> um, I don't know if I used one hog ring on that thing. Anyway, um, so we don't need the wires for these guys. We got a piece of cord in there. We'll use that. And you also want to make sure you get out any remnants of any hog ring. So if you broke a hog ring and left it in there, man, you do not want that floating around in here. Trust me on this. You don't want that sharp, broken hog ring floating around underneath your completed seat cover. The other thing is you need to think about where this thing lines up. So on that other seat, what I had done was uh, I had these both kind of Turn to the inside like so. Had this jammed underneath there like that. So get it nice and deep in there. I got my hog ring set up here. Lined this piping up across here where you can see the old piping went. And then I went to go bolt her in and man, I had some real binding up here going on. There's all sorts of wrinkles and nonsense and fighting and ended up taking out all the hog rings and starting over, cursing, swearing, a bunch of footage I couldn't use. You know the deal. So we're going to try this. Round two, I'll try and take what I learned 
on round one. And uh, get her in here nice and steady like. So just give me a second. I think I'm going to uh, refresh my coffee and then we'll come back to this and get her going. Okay, so here was the solution for that. I moved this back about an inch and a half. I just took out the hog rings, um, moved the whole assembly back about an inch and a half. And it looks like we have going on again what we have on the other side. So this side, boy, that's just perfect. That's exactly what we want. No problem at all. Little snug, not bad. But this side, same thing as before. Um, let me get that squeezed down. If my eye works the way I think it does, this is going to be a little tight. And it is right here. So I'll probably just end up doing what I did on the other one, and that's just pull, tug, manipulate, um, do the best I can with it and get her down there. I am less concerned about a wrinkle here than I am about the overall fitment here. I would, I want that to look good. I'm not so concerned about a wrinkle up against the door jam or a wrinkle up against the console, you know, wherever this seat ends up. Um, this is the other one. This is the exact same spot. I end up with this guy here. Pretty sure that's going to come out over time. Um, but we got rid of the majority of everything in here. So I'm not going to sweat too much on it. I think we're just going to carry on and move forward. Let me get this area cleaned up. I got a bunch of uh, broken hog rings and whatnot over here and over here. So I'll get my area cleaned up and then we'll come back. We'll flip this guy over and start. Okay, so what I ended things. up doing across the front here, this is the front of the seat. They gave it a double roll just to kind of keep it more taut because my, my foam is kind of shrunk down a bit. So I rolled it around twice, kind of around itself like this. That would be once, that would be twice. And then pull it up and around and 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 hog ring it on. <clears throat> Here I missed once. I just left the old hog ring. Wasn't expecting a close up. <clears throat> anyway, let me uh let me flip this over and show you what we got. Now it's, I don't know if you can see that or not, sitting so much better there. Still great over there and a little tight here, but I can get it. Don't worry about it. I promise you, it's going to be fine. Um, so at this point, I think what I want to do, I want to flip this guy back over again. Oops. Dang it. Um, and we'll secure this side down in here. And I think I'll do a double roll again. We'll just kind of get her in there. Fire them in here. It just gives the hog rings something to hold on to other than just fabric, right?
game. See what we got. I don't know. Pretty happy with that. Oh. What do you think? I think it looks pretty good. I do wish that that was deeper. Um, on the Camaros and Mustangs I did, that would be way deeper. This kind of sits pretty flush, to be honest. I think this might be too deep or my foam isn't quite high enough. I don't know what's going on, but this whole line should be way deeper. Same as this one. And it would have more of a puckered kind of look to it as well. But you know what? That's okay. I'm okay with that. Next up will be uh, top. So let me get set Okay, up. so where are we to? Well, we gotta get the top half on there. A couple things. You'll wanna take this out of your old seat. So this is gonna go in this guy here. And without it, this is just gonna flop around up here in between because this has got this kind of a profile. So if you don't have this in here, this will just be like floppy, floppy, saggy, saggy. So we want to get that in there. So we'll take our uh, cover here and just get this out of the way. And we'll just turn this inside out. You know, just kind of want to center it in there. No. Yeah. Plastic like this. This is uh, like a recycle, very thin, very, very, very thin bag. And I really like the thin ones because if it ends up staying in, sometimes they do, it's not gonna mess anything up. So, without the plastic bag, this doesn't fit on here worth a damn. With the plastic bag, it just slides right on like it's meant to be there. So now that we got that on, we can go ahead Put those three hog rings in again. The same ones that we took out. On the other one.
Okay. Okay, so we got another wire here. Let's get her in there. Cannot underestimate the importance of these wires. Let's try that again. Okay. So, once again, I think I want to give it a couple of rolls. Give it two rolls. 